Jo Wellington, and I'm going to show you how to use my free shamrock glitter overlay. You can get my free glitter overlay going to my blog and clicking on freebies. This is going to be a fun little way to add some St. Patrick's Day charm to one of your photos. We'll start out looking for a photo that has a lot of green in it. I picked this one because look at all the grass and the trees in the background. And first you're going to want to edit your photo the way you like it. Now we're going to switch this green over to look a little more shamrocky color. And we're going to do that by going down here and getting a new adjustment layer. Click on that and click on Hue Saturation. And this little box will come up. This is the fun part. I like to do play around with color. So we're going to move this hue slider at the top a little bit to the right until you can see it's turning a little more of a shamrock Kelly green color. But this slider, look at all the changes you can make with color just by changing this hue slider. So I just want to show you that. But let's go back to the green because that's what we want to create for St. Patrick's Day. And I like that color. You can also play around with the saturation. Do you want it to be really bright, have a lot of pop, a little bit less? Go ahead and play around with the slider. And whatever pleases you is what you need to do. That's the best part about editing, editing to what you like. You can also play around with this lightness slider if you want a little brighter, a little bit darker. Just go ahead and edit to your taste. Well, that's my taste, so I'm going to go ahead and X out of this little box. And the great thing about this new adjustment layer is that it automatically adds a layer mask. You can see that white square right here. That is a layer mask. And what we're going to use that for is to erase the strange greenish tint on the little girl's face and on her dress. Anything in your picture that you didn't want to change the color, we're going to use this, um, this layer mask to get rid of that. What we need to do is go over here to these black and white squares. You can go back and forth, toggle back and forth with these arrows. You want the black on top. Now go up and click on your brush tool and go up here and make sure you have a soft edge brush. Make sure the opacity is at 100% and your flow is at 100%. Now I'm going to use my right bracket key to enlarge my cursor like this. And just go ahead and paint over her and bring back her pretty pink tone. She's looking a little green there with that adjustment layer. Bring back the tone in her dress also. And if you have anything else in your picture that you need to remove the green tone, do it in the same way. It's very easy. Now let's look at the before and after. That's how it looked before. That's very pretty. But this just adds that St. Patrick's Day green look. Now we're going to go up and grab our shamrock glitter overlay. Just go ahead and open that in Photoshop and you'll see it up here in your bin. Go ahead and click on that and while holding down, drag it out of the bin and down like this. Now go up here and get your move tool. Click on that. Click on your overlay and while holding down, you're going to drag it right up over the other picture. There it is. You don't need this anymore, so go ahead and X out of that. Let's just use, we have our move tool on, so we'll go ahead and move this up. We can stretch out to cover our picture like that. Now, of course, there are some little shamrocks that are in a great place, this one right over her mouth. So we're going to create, go down here. Oh, first we have to apply this. Then we're going to go and create our layer mask. You go down to the bottom, this little square with the circle in it, click on that and that creates this layer mask, this white square. You have your black brush still. Go up and click your brush. And now you can selectively pick which of the shamrocks you don't want anymore. We're just going to go in. I don't want that one there. I'm going to remove this one. You're essentially erasing with this layer mask. I don't want it on her skin. But you, you know, you get to pick where you want to erase these shamrocks ahead and just select. But doesn't that give it a real fun charm for St. Patrick's Day? Have a great time and enjoy this.